In this module, we'll be talking about DVTEL's Scene Tracker, part of the Intelligent Security Operations Center's AVT, or Adaptive Visualization Technologies. Looking at the control center, what you'll see here is that we have several different traditional layouts, but also several uh, custom layouts built for the use of DVTEL Scene Tracker. Uh, this enables us to get a better view of what the stitches present to us. I'm going to use this one here as a, as a work pad. And as you can see on the left-hand side, as we talked about before, we have our assets visually based. Uh, we can bring up a camera here. We'll bring that over. Uh, this is also is another camera that's also associated with that. You can tell those are both part of the garage. We'll bring that over. And then here you can see we have a different view with those two cameras put together in the same format. What this does is bring us into a visual reference that gives the operator a better view and better understanding of what's happening in the environment. As you can see, we have a little sub-zoom here. I've created one. We have up to three available. And it allows us to zoom in digitally into the area of interest. Now, this allows us the ability to get greater detail in a specific area without losing track of what's happening in the rest of our environment. Here we have uh, some synchronized video of what's going on. And as you can see, I'm using a different layout. Uh, up in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the two cameras affected. And you'll notice that uh, you get a much better view of what's happening while my unwilling partner here runs around, loads the car, goes to the garbage. We never lose track of what's happening with her, as well as we never lose track of what's happening in the rest of the environment. It gives us a better operating view, as well as gives us the ability to make better decisions on how to react to a suspect or a change in environment. Now, as she backs the car out here, I want you to pay particular attention to what's happening in the upper right-hand corner as you see the two cameras and oppose that to what's happening in the scene tracker scene. As you can tell, looking at the scene tracker scene, I get a much more visually intuitive view of what's happening in the environment and a better flow to what's happening throughout the system. And, you know, as the car backs out of the driveway and as the garage door closes, you can see that you get a better feel for what's happening. Uh, and there's my alarm popping up showing that I have the garage door action. Another way to utilize DVTEL scene tracker is what we call scene spotter where I take a camera, optically zoom it into an area of interest, and overlay that onto a field camera. Here's my field camera where I look at a wide view of the street with an alleyway on the right-hand side, and here is the camera focused on that alleyway. As you can see, when I bring up the stitch, I can digitally zoom in around in the area, but when I digitally zoom into the area over the alleyway, I get a clean picture of what's happening in the alleyway without losing frame of reference of what's happening in the rest of the system. Without using DVTEL scene tracker technology, you'd have to go to something like a megapixel camera. Doing the math on this specific instance, that would mean that I'd have to use about a 32 megapixel camera to get the same results. However, as opposed to that bandwidth, I'm only using about 512 kilobits per second. There are lots of different ways to utilize DVTEL scene tracker. Here are three cameras stitched down a tunnel. As you can see, I'm following cars as they move throughout the entire length of the tunnel without ever losing track of them. And the digital zoom on the lower left-hand corner gives me the ability to zoom in tight, but also change the aspect ratio of which I'm viewing those cameras so I can get a better reference of the uh, subject in question. Now here's a really interesting application. Three cameras. As you can see, my suspect walks off of one into the other behind that blue wall. Those two front cameras designate a foyer area. When I stitch those two cameras together, he walks off screen. I don't get a chance to see him anymore. He's disappeared behind that blue wall. Here, now instead of that, I've taken that third camera behind that lab and I've overlaid it on that blue wall. You can still see the suspect as he walks throughout my foyer area, but you can see now that as he walks down the hall, I can, in essence, keep tracking him through my system because when he walks into that lab area, the lab camera is pasted over that dead area between the stitch that's not being used, so now I can tell that he's actually walked into the lab, uh, in essence making it an invisible wall to the cameras providing us a simple people tracking analytic without deploying complex or expensive software. Now, analytics is actually a great subject. Two drawbacks that we've noticed in deployment of these, one is the field of reference that a analytic is to draw from before creating a conclusion for the operator. The second is the price. So in this installation, we're looking at four cameras stitched across the entire parking lot. Now, we're tracking the object as it moves through the parking lot, what this does is this allows the analytic to provide more information to the operator to make a better decision on what's happening when the alarm goes off and make better decisions whether that's a false alarm or what actual response that alarm might incur. There's also a price consideration as DVTEL's integration analytics provides a scene tracker scene as a single camera. Now I'm doing the work of four cameras 
with the camera connection license to the analytics software with only a single camera. Now in this following uh, example, we're going to introduce a concept we'll talk about more in another module. It's called DBTEL's Mentor. Mentor enables us to look at a Windows-based machine, any Windows-based machine, to capture the screen and record and view it live within the DBTEL Control Center. Now again, we're looking at what's happening live on someone else's machine. This is the machine I brought up here. Uh, as you can see, I'm looking at the information associated with it. You can see it's streaming information live as we move through this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move that over to the side, and I'm going to bring in another visual asset here. This is, uh, this is me in my office. Uh, there, I'll, let me wave at you there. So what I'm going to do here is create a stitch that allows me not only to look at what I'm doing in the office, but also what I'm viewing on the machine at the same time. So as we bring this up full screen, you can see there I am, there in the office. If I was to visually zoom in or digitally zoom into that screen, there's no way I could read anything about what's happening. So here I am, right there beside me, I can actually view the mentor of what's happening on the screen. I can see what this operator is doing and typing in and viewing while I'm seeing if the person's actually sitting in front of the desk. And one final note about Scene Tracker Scenes, they are a visual asset, and they can be treated just like any other visual asset within the DBTEL system. They can be put on recording schedules, they can have alarms associated with them. There's a number of other possibilities that you can do with a Scene Tracker Stitch. I invite you to spend more time looking at the rest of the DBTEL's modules, or call 1-888-DBTEL-77 for more information about DBTEL and DBTEL's products.